And uh, but yeah, Raymond, cool dude, man. Runs the same thing out of Miami for eight years, uh, container back and forth to North Carolina. So, God bless. see you later, Raymond. Take care, man. There he is right there. Awesome dude. He's got the shorts on. He's definitely in Miami. Good morning, Jacksonville. Uh, 7.15. Oh. Let's get the day started. 7.30 appointment. Didn't even have to use the uh, APU last night, auxiliary power unit, because it was, uh, it was nice. Like, uh, what is it right now? Oh, I can't see. It is 46 degrees. Fire up. Woo. Let's go check in the door. I think it was 27, they said last night. They let you, if you come here to Publix in uh, Jacksonville, they let you park on premises if you get here early. So it's very nice of them. Uh, we're going to air up and get this day started. didn't let me know if I should break my seal last night, so the doors are still closed and our seal is still on. But it looks like they have a dry division, which means dry vans, dry goods, anything that's not refrigerated uh, around you, buddy. Sorry, man. And then their refrigerated side looked like it was on the other side, the right, but they had parking for both for overnight because there was guys going over there, too. Right up here on the right. Door 20, I think it was 27. They said check in there at 5 a.m. I said, oh, I'll get some sleep and check in at uh, 7.30, which is my appointment. And it's a busy one. but they might have just waited until uh, 7.30. Maybe it's 8 o'clock because it is Uber, so you never know. I'm going to go over here and stay off to the side. And right by that last, what well, is 27 right there to the right? 27. And then I'm going to have to swing around the back end of this door. 27. All right. Let's mask up. Just truck and dot shop. If you want one of these, eh, or one of those. Grab our bills. Got a little check in sheet they made for me last night. Door 37 is our lucky number. It'll be a nice sunrise. We still haven't seen exactly what we have. Uh, yeah, pedigree. There you go. So we have canned food maybe too. All right, 37. Hey, right there, wide open. Uh, I don't know what this guy was doing that's my bad i guess for pulling in here but uh he is abnormally close to our truck we're gonna back the heck out so he can get in there we're just lucky nobody hit nobody hit nobody there we go That 
was the first truck I ever drove in uh, International with a Cummins and a 10 speed, just like this one. All right, let's flip this thing around, door 37. That little video right there um, was just a little bit of the process I went through. It took about five minutes total to pay for the lumber service. The lumber service is a third party unloading company that works most, mostly in these big warehouses like grocery warehouses and stuff. But um, you used to be have to have these checks and you probably still will have to have these checks some places called com checks or EFS checks. And one of my viewers sent me a big old stack of them, so thank you so much for them. But I, it was, used to be hard, you couldn't get them or they would tell you go find another driver and get one from them. But that little screen video right there, there's more steps to the process, but ask for like your driver's license number and stuff. There's a tax ID and then the company, your, your broker will give you a express code. And you can see with Uber, it was super easy. It takes 20 seconds and then you transmit that express code over to the, um, it looks like it's an Amazon platform uh, URL, but a payment service and you put it in there and then it came back with a receipt and it was easy. So hopefully that's the way of the future. It takes a big headache out of uh, these grocery warehouses. But uh, we're gonna, it's Friday. We're going to try and see if we can get a load. We're going to head back up 95, get some food, and uh, see if something's out there. But there's a couple little ones. There's like a 795 to Charlotte, but it's I have to come off 95 We're in the middle of Georgia a little bit to get it. Hazel, Hazeltown, I think. Hazelwood, Georgia. And it's light. It's only 10,000 pounds, but that delivers Monday. So $795 holding the truck all the way to Monday morning uh, for sip, for wouldn't be bad, but I feel like I can just maybe find something either Saturday or Sunday local for 500 bucks, and uh, that'd be a lot easier than waiting until Charlotte on Monday. So we'll see. But let's get up and get some food.
So those were the loads for this morning out of Florida. A lot of them going right back into Florida, but you really have to double those miles because you're going to have to deadhead out. There's nothing down there to the south. So um, get, your, get your bang, you know your worth. Get, get bang to go down even further. So we're coming back up to Savannah. But there's a lot of loads out there. I mean, not too many that are really strike by. I take me back by the house, but I did just have one pop up. Uh, I stopped back there at exit three and got a soda. And I just missed Barry Downey. Barry Downey is my insurance guy. If you ever see him in the chats or anything we do, uh, I'll put his insurance card at the end of this uh, video. But anyways, I uh, missed him. He was down in the south of Florida more. He runs kind of all Florida and, and lives right there off exit three. So I see him whenever uh, he's around, but wasn't there today. Anyways, off topic. Load comes up um, a little bit in from uh, Savannah. 2.30 pickup. I could have been there by one. At 1.30. And, um, it's going to Milton, Pennsylvania, which is kind of off 81, up top by, uh, where was I at? Where was I at? T Tyrone, Pennsylvania. So, I was like, okay, that's not too bad. It was, it was listed right here. Watch, so look at this progression. This is what it was listed on at the app. Then I emailed the broker that had the load that was a direct email when you click the, the app. This was the response from her. And then the normal guy I used for that same app, this is his response. So. A little bit shady they're trying to put eight hundred dollars in her pocket so check out this uh progression of these this load these emails and it is truck must enter just staying on for the uh georgia weight center but yeah that uh so it's, it's mind-boggling to me. I don't guess they don't realize the app has uh, the Book It Now feature. So what was it, 1925, I think it was, 1950. Um, you could have booked it now just using the app. So I just email and uh, ask the details about, like, what's the pickup and stuff like that. And um, she comes back and says 1600 I'm like, okay, well, might as well just use the app then and cut you out of it because it's $350 more, $325 more just doing that. So then I booked, I emailed my other... Um, broker bud that I use a lot and he said yeah someone just uh, snatched this for 22 I was like okay so, but that lady uh, I don't know I don't know I understand the game but come on $800 off the top so a little bit much for me I guess they're just running everybody on the green light just bring come on in and keep on going I don't know if anybody's here there's, well, there's one trooper there one KLLM truck over there but yeah, it must be it's past lunchtime now well, it's right about lunchtime it's one o'clock 
But yeah, so we're gonna keep looking for loads. Um, I'm gonna stop up here at Savannah for one last try. Uh, but it looks like it might be another deadhead home because uh, there's lots of the capacity. There's there's plenty of loads out there, but it's like people think that oh, it's the winter time. We have to take less rates because that's just what happens. No, that's not what happens. You they still need stuff moved. You are an asset. There's all these big mega carriers that handle a lot of dedicated accounts, and then there's these oddball loads that come up or some cancels or they can, they have not enough drivers that week and that's when you're needed if you're an owner operator so like i say repetitively know your worth and uh, if you can't find something get home to your family if you live in a great great area that you can do that so let's keep getting up to savannah see what see what the future holds taco bell it is i'm gonna check on a couple more loads see what's going on out there but doesn't look like much, plus we have the Martin Luther King holiday coming on Monday, so it kind of wrenches up stuff, but a lot of loads for uh, Tuesday, so we shall see. Go to Taco Bell's call my name. I haven't eaten Taco Bell, man. Probably three, four weeks, almost a month, maybe. It's time to get some. We got an Amazon Prime trailer hanging out. Attached to a, I think it's a classic Texan. There you go. There you go. Use a little bit of fuel, I'll probably put. Let's see what the price is compared to my QT. We can get home, but I don't like to get them so low. Yeah, they went up to 245. 245 for fuel. Uh, I don't know if QT went up anymore, but QT was still 219 last time. Well, we still don't have any loads. We have one from Orangeburg, South Carolina. Um, going up to like Asheville area, but it's out in like the sticks in the woods and there's two drops. And again, the app said I could have booked it for 890 and uh, my go-to broker guy came back and said, you can have it for 700 and I was like, mm -hmm. and then to go on top of that, I emailed the other broker lady when the, cause the appointment was at two o'clock and then they switched the appointment to eight o'clock. And but when I was at two o'clock, I directly contacted the broker. With this app, the broker, like a certain broker like owns the load. And so their email comes up first, but you can just switch out that email and go to your regular guy. I can tell my regular guy was getting frustrated with me, so I just didn't I didn't contact him. But that two o'clock appointment, um, she said I have it for a thousand. And I was like, ah, I'm on like 12, 50, 13. It's up two drops and it's up like Boone, North Carolina. It's up through the mountains. And it was light though, it was like 14,000 pounds and two drops. So it would have been okay, but um, it's holding for the weekend and stuff like that. So I said, no. Um, and then, but then when it came back at an eight o'clock appointment for pickup, because two o'clock was getting close, I contacted him and said, hey man, can we get this for about uh, 1350 14 And he said 700 and I was like, uh. So, I mean, it just makes you wonder and and, and just kind of question things. But uh, I just met Raymond right here. Awesome guy. He runs back and forth from Miami. Awesome to meet you, man. Uh, he went inside, otherwise I'd have him on the camera. But uh, cool talking with you today, man, the Fuel Island. And uh, we're just going to get home. We'll look for a couple more loads, uh, maybe coming into Columbia. But other than that, we're just gonna have to hang out the weekend, which I don't mind. I'm gonna play some more hide and seek. And uh, but yeah, Raymond, cool dude, man. Runs the same thing out of Miami for eight years, uh, container back and forth to North Carolina. So, see you later, Raymond. Take care, man. There he is right there. Awesome dude. He's got the shorts on. He's definitely in Miami. All right, let's get back on 95. That load just popped up. And uh, I was in Columbia, so I said, hey, that looks pretty good. Next day drop, uh, I would like that to be a thousand, but the way things are going, I will take 720, top my tanks off, and uh, probably have about 300 bucks left over. So we'll take that load, and then we'll be in Atlanta Saturday. We might be able to get something going up to PA or down to Florida and get back home to T Dubs for Saturday Night Live and the weekend. But, um, or just get something back to Greenville where I can be home. But either way, I'll either dead at home or get something that goes by the house. That is my MO. We we'll come back and see those beautiful boys and my beautiful wife. And it's a beautiful sunset right now. You guys can't see off to the left, but it's gorgeous. And speaking of gorgeous, let's talk to T-Dubs. This is my uh, my rock in the world. My, my wife, my partner, and she uh, talks to us about our giveaways. We try to do a giveaway about every month. And we have a giveaway that goes annually also and it has to do with merchandise at uh, just trucking.shop. So 
There she is. Tell us about the monthly giveaway. This month's giveaway is going to be a tablet, a 128 gigabyte eighth generation iPad or an S6 Android tablet, or you can just take the $400 cash. The way to enter is you're going to see a little drop down tab right here, and it's going to pull down the description. In the description, there's going to be a link to our Gleam giveaway. Go ahead and enter that way. And on February 13th, when the giveaway entries end, we're going to go live at nine on Saturday night, like we always do. And at 9.30, we're going to pick a winner. But we're doing it different again this month. This month, we're going to have five key numbers hidden throughout the duration of this giveaway. So you must be live in the chat room, be chosen as the winner, and have the five numbers. What will happen is we will call a winner. You will have five minutes to respond to my email address, justtruckinlife at gmail.com with the five numbers. And that's how you win. Good luck. Also, check out justtruckin.shop. We got in our new 30 ounce tumblers for hot or cold. They're beautiful and I love mine. It's over there with my coffee machine. And we have our new Carhartt, upside down, sorry. Our new Carhartt masks. They come in a pack of three. Thanks so much and good luck. Well, thank you T-Dubs for that giveaway information and T's and P's to everybody on 85 southbound. Pretty bad, pretty bad, all the way up. Uh, yikes. There was two fire trucks in the middle of the road, but they actually um, got moving as I was passing them. So hopefully it's all cleared up now. Let's get to our pickup. So I believe this is an STI yard. Not 100% sure. If I can get through at the back of it. Looks like a bunch of people turned around right there. Definitely an STI yard, so maybe they couldn't cover this load today, I don't know. But this was the entrance for 1441. Let's see what we have. I hope this opens up down here. If not, I have to turn back around. Uh, looks like it does open up. Yeah, it does. Good. <clears throat> it's a pickup till 8 o'clock. The grass ain't greener on the other side. The prodigy said, okay, okay. Uh, you are our most precious car. Okay. What are we doing here? The gate's closed. Good thing I didn't come the other way because the gate's closed. But uh, where in the heck do we go? Driver commitments. Bunch of bobtails and no trailers. Am I going to be able to turn around up there? All good questions. 97 days without an injury. Oh, goodness. Okay, well. It looks like there's a trailer down there, so I'm going to go for it. Is he shipping or receiving anywhere? Huh, anybody work for STI? Want to give me a little help? We got trailers over here on the left. We have a bunch of trailers and doors, so I'm gonna pull up next to these bobtails and see where I can talk to somebody. If anybody's even here. Uh, yeah, we got something open over there. Okay, that's a good sign. Sign of life. I like it. Let's investigate. All right, once I got to the window, they knew exactly who I was. They're like, yeah, I get into door 16. Okay. <laughs> I was worried for a bit because it, uh, like this gentleman right here is like an employee's and, and check out this board. Like, why well, have this, I don't know why they have this board up. I'm not knocking STI, but like, they have like a board showing everybody's violations and stuff and why they were terminated. It's kind of to each their own, but that seems a little personal for people, I guess. I don't know, but let's get these doors open. And get in the door. 16. And that's a wrap, guys. Thanks for tuning in today. Oh, we got uh, 
I think his name is Carlos loaded us up today. But... So they're like uh cool, huh? I don't know what the hell is that exactly. Woven, like woven Roven? Yeah, it's a fiberglass. Cool, yeah, because it's going to a pool company, so they must use it's it for the pool? pools. Okay, it's probably gonna put it like underneath, mm -hmm. probably. Clear it and out. Put it in or something like that. Like, that's it, man. Cool. Yeah. So all that's going on? Yeah, it's only you sign the bill. Okay, cool. Let's sign them. Uh, yeah, I'll give you a, I got a pickup number. Super nice guy. Look at like detail on this truck and everything. It's super cool. All right, we already got our bills. We're getting eight pallets. And man, STI, I was talking to him and he said they give you one warning. After that, you're gone. So don't speed if you come work for STI, but I've heard they're a great company. Uh, for locally out here in South Carolina. But God bless you. Please check out JustTrucking.shop. And uh, we'll be in Atlanta tomorrow, see if we get something home. If not, we got some football to watch tomorrow. More playoffs action. God bless y'all.